At long last, Harold Godwinson arrived at Hastings to fight William, Duke of Normandy, to keep his title as the King of England. Days before Harold Godwinson had even arrived at Hastings, the Normans had came and set up camp. They were well rested and ready for war, whereas Harold Godwinson's team were very tired and weary from walking all that way from Stanford Bridge to Hastings. This gave the Normans a huge advantage as they were well prepared for war. Because of this, Harold Godwinson ordered his house cars to raise their shields and put them together to create the shield wall. This would give them more time to rest and prepare for war. All of a sudden, the Normans charged towards the Saxons, ready to defeat them. However, because the hill that the Saxons were on was so steep, the Normans had a bit of trouble climbing it, but eventually, they did make it to the top. The Normans tried as hard as they could to get past the Saxon shield wall. However hard they tried, they were unable to get past it. The Normans retreated, knowing that they could not get past the Saxons' mighty shield wall. A few brave Saxons went down the hill to attack the fleeing Normans, but they were soon attacked by the Normans' chivalry. Once again, the Normans charged at the Saxons, but this time, they had a plan. Their plan was to pretend to retreat but come charging back with their chivalry, killing every single Saxon that came to kill them. Once they got to the top, the Normans were still unable to get past the Saxons' mighty shield wall. Just as the Normans had planned, some brave Saxons came down to attack the fleeing Normans. Once again, the Normans sent out their chivalry to defeat the Saxons that had came down the hill. The next day, William, Duke of Normandy, ordered his archers to shoot at the shield wall. Sure enough, the Saxons held up their shields to protect themselves from the falling arrows. This was the Normans' chance to strike. The Normans defeated Harold Godwinson. There on the floor was Harold Godwinson's crown. William, Duke of Normandy, picked up the crown and became the new King of England, whilst also earning the title of William the Conqueror.